It's the Pizza hey, Fellas up, Podcast. We are Chase here Pizza. right now. Pizza Fellas Podcast. This would be episode 39, right? 39. Yeah, 39. Episode 39 yeah. here at the uh, Anna Capri Food Show. And look at this backdrop here. Look at this backdrop, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. I wow. mean... I, New York looks beautiful from here, but we don't want to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like, want to be over on that side. It looked like shit before this morning, but <laughs> now yeah, at least we got some sun. Beautiful. We got some yep. sun. Now we're starting to get a crowd. And, there we go. Uh, the official name of this place <laughs> is Liberty House Tower. Uh, Liberty House. No. What the Liberty fuck House. Liberty, Liberty House. House. Liberty yeah. House here Liberty in House. what's Jersey City. Jersey City. Liberty House, Jersey City here. Yep. Pizza Fellows Podcast at the Anna Capri Food Show. That's correct. Uh, we also have a casino. On the other side, Sal lost everything. Jerry lost a lot of money, too. <laughs> Jerry, yeah. They told him, but they you, did, they you, did, the luck didn't move. For you you actually missed different. that we were over there after you left. So that one table, I'm with the guys from Crispy. Was it Crispy Pete? Yeah, yeah. Crispy. Right. So we're with those guys. We're all betting five, ten dollars a number. And the guy goes, no, there's the other guy. Five dollars. There's limits. Uh, it's supposed to be one dollar inside. We all got ten dollars on numbers. This, that. <laughs> we're taking. <laughs> if ever he told us. So, hey, guys, we're here again. I'm Sal Rafino. Antonio. Joe Rafino, big sexy in the house. Beyond your pizzeria, pizza fellas podcast. Oliver, little sexy. And? And Giuseppe Buffa, Nonna Vita, Trattoria, and Hamburg, New Jersey. Very there you good. go. Very, Very good. good. Very there you awesome. go. Awesome. So, tell us more. Where, how long you been in the business? I've been doing it since eight years old. You started where? Where? In Newark. Newark. On Bergen, Bergen, uh, Bergen Avenue and Lines Avenue. Oh, wow. Near Beth Israel Hospital. And what I was the name of the place? Napoli Pizza. Is it still there? No, it's Is not there no not more. Not there? Yeah, but uh, yeah, I was a little kid, eight years old, and I had the crate. I was jumping there, and my dad was showing me how to stretch it. The wood it. crates. The yeah, wood the, crates, the Coca-Cola the, the, or Pepsi yeah, crates, right? Yeah. 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 It was fun. So I've been doing it my whole life. And That's then how awesome. long did you work there, Giuseppe? Oh, uh, we were down there since 1987. So you worked from, there? From uh, 70, 74, 75. And then we had it to 87. So after 87, what you got? What, what'd you start Then we had work? a pizzeria up the street called Lions Pizza, right across the street, Judge Washington. Uh, Carver High School, and typical pizza shop. Yeah, pizza slice pies, slices. Yeah, so soda, like, soda machine, simple out the door, in and out. Yeah, slice of pizza. Like, what were you selling long. a slice of pizza at the time for? Uh, in the in the seventy six, seventy seven, I think it was like eighty cents, ninety cents. Yeah. I want to say, and yeah. out the door, out yep. the door, the slices, like, like, hundred you know, pies a day, slices. At two thirty, we used to prep like about 30, 40 pies, and it was just all slices. The kids come out from the schools, from the schools, and it was all slices. Wow! And Italian hot dogs, Italian, Italian hot dogs, Italian fried hot dogs. hot dogs with the potatoes no, and no, the peppers, deep fried with uh, potatoes and peppers and onions, yeah, mustard and ketchup. <laughs> what kind of roll? The pizza bread. Yeah, the really? Bread. The pizza that would it look like a big donut with the hole in it? Yeah. Was all, yeah. They don't you, make it the same way. No, no. no. Not, you don't yeah. see that That's anywhere. a big thing, the fried hot dogs. I dog. never, yeah, you, again, Italian you hot dogs that. were really good. Uh, big, yeah. Isn't it, what's thing. the place that, that's in, is it called Rutz Hut? Mm-hmm. That, Rutz Hut. Big, Rutz uh, Hut's yeah, big I've never been there. They go, well, the, the rippers, like the one they like to yeah, yeah. It's yeah, ripping yeah. in the fryer and stuff. So you would fry those up? We would fry, deep fry them with the potatoes on the grill. onions and all that. peppers and onions. And really what they good. put? They put Italian dressing on that too, or no? No, no. Mustard just like and ketchup. Mustard and ketchup. Mustard and ketchup. Mustard wow! And ketchup. So you guys did mustard that. How long were you there? We were down in Napoli for about twenty years. And then what? Your dad just said, "I'm going to sell it." Then I. Then we left there and we went to uh, Lynnhurst, La Bella Vita. La Bella Vita. That's my mother's name. Okay. So Vita is your mom's name. Yeah, Vita is my mom's name, and um, we worked there for since nineteen. Uh, eight no, eighty nine, eighty nine. We still own the building. Now there's uh, a one pizza, which is Anna Capri customer. Oh okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> it was my cu- it was my customer, but you know now yeah. Roseanne has them. Yeah, so and, and you spent about eleven years in sales then too. Yeah, Roma five Roma, years five with Roma years. and uh, six years with Anna Capri. And then you got out. And then I bought a pizzeria up in Sussex where I live. Peter and uh, been making nona pies. 
No, no the pie. Sicilian, I do an original, an authentic Sicilian from Palermo, Sicily. Okay. You know, I put uh, the cheese, the gaiso cavallo in the bottom, the sauce. Huh. I got oregano from Sicily. I only buy the oregano from Sicily. And wow. when I go there, I bring it. And, um, Is that recording? I, um, yeah. And uh, Anna Capri olive oil. It's now, really when good. you bring that oregano over from Sicily... Are you bringing that with you? Yeah, back? bring it with me. So last time, what, what was it? it? Uh, <laughs> Do they ever, I, it's like, stop yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got to yeah, have a story, yeah. right? <laughs> it's got to be something where you got so hung up. I had about, I, I brought, I want to say about 40 bushels of it, like fresh oregano, because I bought it from this guy. He goes, he goes. I remember him when I was a kid. I, the guy used to be in the same spot next to this gas station in Nabiazza. And he used to sell fresh oregano. We're in, we're in Italy. Uh, in uh, Sicily. Sicily, Palermo. Palermo, Provincia di... I live in Partenico. Partenico, okay. Partenico is my town. So, so I, you know, I put it in a bag. I wrap it in plastic. And... Uh, Suitcase. I'm passing, yeah, they open up the suitcase and they see this all right. <laughs> oh, take it easy. As if you burn it. If you burn it, it'll smell like that. But it's oregano. It's just silly, you know? But it's really good. Like, I break it all over the pizza. Oh, so, so it's I, on the stem. It's on yeah. the stem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just, but the that's the flavor, best tasting one. The flavor is insane. If I, I, that I like to use when yeah. it's coming out of the oven after it comes and out. You put and it you put it on. Because now you, uh, you get yeah, the now flavors. You, yeah. When you break that, what's the process? You just, just, like just, that. just break it. Like yeah. that, yeah. and it comes just, right just, off? Yeah. And a little bit goes a long way. It goes a little a long bit goes way. a long way. You're Especially talking about from the flower you're breaking it from. Actually, the stem. The stem. Yeah. Yeah. The stem, yeah. It's all dry. It's all dry. That's the best That's the best way to use oregano. Yeah. That's yeah. the best way. And don't, and don't cook it in good. the oven. You put it on after it comes out. Yeah, and then when you make like a, a tomato salad with red onions, a little oregano, oh, a little salt, fresh. pepper. Oh, forget about that's it. Especially good. in the summertime. Oh, pane gonzado. Yeah, pane gonzado. Oh, my God. Now, when you bring that back, how do you keep it in stock in the restaurant? I just leave it in the Leave it out. In the plant. In the, in the, pla- in the bags, yeah, it's just like leave a little it in the plastic bag. Yeah. Okay. Comes in. Matter of fact, I think you saw one a long time ago. I brought one in. Yeah, the you shop. did bring one in. I saw that. I was That's the saying. best way to have it. Yeah. So if you run out, what do you do? Now, right now, I get it from this. Uh, my mom buys them from me. She has a friend that um, her name is Annette. I don't know the name of the store, but it's in Newark, and they do a lot of imports. Oh, okay. And she's importing this oregano from Sicily, and it's very good. But I'm going. Maybe next month I'm going to Sicily. I'll bring another. Maybe suitcase. we'll ask you bring me a bring me a bundle back. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it's it. You know, yeah. I'll let you try it. Yeah, yeah no, it's good stuff. Yeah. When I go by myself, I can bring two suitcases. So I'll fill one up. Now yeah, I, I right. heard you. Uh, you were talking earlier. I heard you say, you know, you got out of sales. You just couldn't deal with the sales, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I. Uh, it made me think. Um, Mark Cuban says all the time. I would rather work for myself and make sixty to eighty-five thousand dollars a year than work for someone else making one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, just because now I'm my own and I can now control how much I make. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it's yeah. something that made it clicks yeah, in my head. I think all the time. Sales is very hard, and I give it to like all, well, not my coworkers no more, but all my friends that I know that they do this. You know, right right hard and a right lot right of hard it's a lot harder than people realize. Know. They got to know. You got to charge for it. Everything is expensive. Yeah. Right. Everything is expensive. If you yeah, right. charge well, for it, you know, don't don't look at the bill and try to cut off the salesperson for a nickel or dime. Yeah. They, Ten they, bags they, of flour, seven cents, 20 cents a bag. What, what's it going to do? You want to arm wrestle for What's that? a dollar going to do? $10? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like, it doesn't you make sense. arm wrestle. No, it doesn't. doesn't. But guys got to guys got to charge, and they, you know, our business, it's like a stalemate. Of We've noticed a lot in the valley that we're trying to change is just the charge of prices with guys. And educate, people. educate people. Educate people. Yeah. Because we had a guy, I think, was it two episodes ago? You remember he said, it, what did he say it cost? It costs fucking three, oh, three, four dollars, he, five dollars, two dollars. No, two dollars. Two dollars it costs to make a pizza. He said. I was like, get the fuck I out said, of here. You know, Are how you the kidding fuck me? It costs two dollars when two dollars my pizza ass. Boxes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said, two dollars just along with the the ladle of eight ounces of sauce. I just th- I, I think we figured out the math on what a number ten can of, of just ground tomatoes was, right? Yeah. And I think it came to when we figured out each ounce, it was like a dollar thirty just for the eight ounce ladle. And you're saying it costs two dollars? Shut up! No. You know what I mean. Yeah. Shut the, the like, hell up! Cheese? You use the mozzarella. You use a good well. He cheese. said, "What did he say? The the cheese was seven a dollar sixty nine 
or some, pound. Pound. some ridiculous uh, number. Some fucking asshole. I said, he what is. kind of cheese are you using? <laughs> His math is like two plus two yeah, to him turned into one. Yeah, probably cheese the schools. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Uh, probably that, the cheese, like, you know, something that it's already expired. I mean, it, it's... It, it doesn't make sense. No. A lot it of things make don't sense. make sense with some of these guys. Like I often say, guys are afraid to say in this business, I'm here to make freaking money. Hey, listen. All right? you know, I, I want to yeah. make a, a lot of six figures, and I don't want it to be with a one in front of it. I, I like work. it to be with a four or five in front of it. You know, people, you know, people come into the pizzeria, like I sell a bottle of soda for two bucks. The Coke, I mean, I'm sorry, six dollars. Six dollars for a can of... Listen, I don't sell soda. I sell pizza. I'm not selling it for Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm selling it to can, make money. A can of soda costs you 84 cents now, right? And you're going to sell it for a dollar twenty-five. What, what does that? Bullshit. The, yeah. For what? A dollar twenty-five. you can't buy nothing in the store with. Yeah, you're not going to sell it for You can't buy a candy bar yeah. for a dollar twenty-five. No. no, no. no. You know? And we're going to sit back here and we're going to only make that much on that soda. No, not, no, not, not, not in my place. I'll leave it in the freezer. Leave it in the freezer. Right. Leave it in the Leave it in the refrigerator. Yeah. I, I won't sell it. You look for the person that's coming in. They're just putting it there. They're going to pay you, and they're moving on. The person that's complaining, go ahead. That, yeah. Have a good day. You know, they, two slices, you get you get somebody comes in and go, and two slices of pizza and a can of soda. You charge them seven fifty, seven fifty, And then you look, they're driving around a BMW, <laughs> and they got... They have Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. You just went to Starbucks and spent $10 on a cup of coffee. Now, a, you don't a, want a, two slices of pizza and a, a cup of liquid. A cup of liquid. Right? It's oh, crazy. I, I, go to, I get a latte, $9.50. Yep. What? And then I'm thinking in my head, so you got two slices and a soda for $9.50. It, it's, you're it, getting it, more. It doesn't equate. It doesn't equate. The mentality of it. You know, yeah, it doesn't yeah. equate. Listen. You know, we're all every we try to give our best product we can. Absolutely. And, and our customers are our living. We have to respect it, but customers have to know also that things are expensive. You go to shop right, you take out a hundred dollars, you ain't buying nothing. No. Yeah. No. You know, Man, now you gotta pay for your own bag. Paper, you, know? you gotta pay for your own bag. You gotta Just check yourself. Yeah, all right. So um Joe, tell us where you're at again. Give us the address, phone number, and all that. So, Nona Vita Trattoria, Hamburg, Ber New Jersey, 10th Vernon Avenue, uh, right out of Crystal Springs. Right. What's outside. the phone number? 908-324. No, that's my phone number. What's the phone number? <laughs> <laughs> now everybody in the world's got a cell phone number. 973-823. Nine oh. four zero zero. There oh you go. God. Thank is there, you. Is there, is there a website? Uh, Nonavitas.com. Nonavitas.com. All right. It's all attached. Thank you again. Thank you again, Thanks, Joe. Joe. Appreciate Great seeing it. You. Thank yeah. you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Always good. You got it, man. That was fun. I see you. Good to see Thanks, you. Joe. All right, guys. Pizza Fellows Podcast again. We are live from the Anna Capri Food Show, episode 39 here. Remember, follow us on YouTube and Spotify. Hit that subscribe button. We got a special guest here right, right. now. Special guest. I see this guy all over Instagram. Uh -oh. I hope you see me good. Yes, yes. Handsome right. looking guy. Me, my own. <laughs> Go ahead, introduce yourself. Hey, how are you guys? My name is Peter Grippo. I own uh, Brooklyn Square Pizza in New Jersey. Uh, Jackson, which is my headquarters, Manalpin, and uh, Tom's River. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. You Maybe do. a few more to come. I'm trying. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but nobody wants to work. You guys want a job? <laughs> yeah, we're looking. We're, we're hey, looking. We're looking, too. Nah, we're in the same spot. Yeah. We're looking, too. Yeah. Hey, you do a lot of social media stuff. You're yes. a big influencer on yes, social media in the pizza industry. I uh, hats off to you. Thank you. Um, I follow you. I know me and him look at you all the time on your Appreciate videos. That. You do a great job. What I try. What got you into doing all that? Uh, you got to go roll with the times, right? Things right. are different. No, yeah. I rather uh, promote myself, my product through social media, through showing it, than running coupons. I don't believe in that. That's me. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, I think could, that's a good belief. You know, if I could save the customer something that way, and just be true to yourself. And I truly believe customers will go wherever the food is good. Absolutely, food, service. It's a whole package you're selling, and uh, when they see it, like you guys, thank God you guys like me and follow me, and other people do the same. Yeah, my, my Jackson store is my headquarters. That's my first store. Yeah, I'm there eleven years, and um, uh, people literally like last, yesterday was Mother's Day. I, mean, I had people from. 
all over the state. I'm blessed. Yeah. I'm wow. really and, people ca- and people care about me, unfortunately. They all know my story, and they, they come out, and then the product speaks for itself. What is your story, Peter? Let us uh, know. Uh, uh, well, let our audience know. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I don't want to say unfortunately. I'm battling non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, I'm, I was in uh, remission. I'm still battling. I relapsed Cheers. last year. I'm, Cheers. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't look sick, right? You said I'm a handsome guy, right? You are a handsome yeah. guy. Yeah, I got yeah. more hair than you. So. You do. <laughs> <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> so, you know, Pete, and, and I put my story out there because I like people to reach out to me. Other people going through the same uh, dilemma and uh, just a shoulder to lean on, yell at, curse at me, not your spouse, the caregivers, which I think is even harder than what we're doing. But, yeah. And just people care. They really, there's still a lot of good people in this crazy world. You better believe it. 100% there really, there is. The world is crazy. It's different, but there's a lot of good people. <laughs> you, you said know? that. You're right. I mean, you can see it in various ways that there's a lot of good people out there. There's people that want to support you, yes. want to understand who you are. And yep. you put yourself out there, your family out there, they know who you are. So yes. when they walk yeah. in... It, they see a face to that. It's like my dad with Biagio's, he does the same thing. And same here. Like my kids, uh, I try to teach them the same thing. There's one thing you can never get back. It's your reputation and your name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You're right. You, 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 could, you, know, you, you have to live up to your name. Uh, be, 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 it's free to be nice. Yeah. My father used to say that all the time, rest in peace. It's free to be nice. If the guys are... We, well, I can't curse. Yeah, you can yes. curse. Say, say whatever the hell you want. It's free to be nice. If the, if, the, if the other person then is a scumbag, then you treat them as is, right? Right. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, extend the olive branch first, yeah, yeah. and you work from there. And like I said, there really is a lot of caring people, generous people left in this world. I mean, we see it on the news. It's, this world's gone to shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 51. You, you know, can't say that uh, any better. <laughs> I'm 51, and I've you know the shit that's going on now is oh, crazy. It's crazy. From the anti-Semitic man. stuff to the to, to business stuff, it's just nuts. Yeah, people it's like, are. Yeah. People. It's like it's bizarro world, right? It is. Yeah. It's bizarro. It's almost look at like the, look at those Max. college campuses out it's, there. I mean, uh, Jesus Christ! These you people set up paying eighty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, I'm not going to graduation. All right, yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah, so look at Columbia. They're yeah. making every student do online, and you got to pay full tuition because you can't go to school. Because if you don't school. like being somewhere, then you should get on a fucking plane and get the hell well, out of Dodge. Hey, this is how Simple we, as that. Amen. But, but here's Hit what the I, road, Jack. Yeah, it's I a agree. whole song. Everybody came to this country for a reason, but not to get political. But that's not. No, that's, okay. not that's not even political. No, that's, but, that's a but, true but, statement. But being in this business, right? I, we have to, unfortunately, not enough. We have to love everybody. I love you. You're nice. Hundred percent. So, but just don't push your agenda on me. You could be whoever you are. Go. You want to be a guy that's a girl or gay or straight or whatever. I don't care. Yeah. I love you either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We either love, way, I love you either uh, we're way. We're with the same thing. You don't push me, your agenda. I respect you. I'm just here for the pizza. Man. We got to turn white dough into green dough, right? Yeah. Who'd you bring with you? I see you got. I got my two sons. My oldest son, uh, Peter. He's 19. He goes to Stevens in Hoboken next door. Oh wow. Okay. And, uh, okay. My my middle guy is John. Uh, he he goes to football Christian players. Brothers. They're wrestlers. Uh, I was wrestlers? gonna say wrestlers, yeah, wrestlers and football because yeah. I was a yeah. football guy. But I yeah. still <laughs> fucked them up. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's that's my nephew Alex. He was, he's in. C- CIA, uh, not the uh, the the culinary institute, not the government. Awesome. Now, do any of them work at the shop? My boys do. Yeah. Yes, they do. They they, uh, they, they, they work were counter busser. They're learning more and more. It's just something for them to fall back on. I mean, you guys are in the business, obviously, yes. right? Yeah. Well, I tell people today, five years. Where are we going? Who who? I got my my pizza men are with me a long time. They're in their fifties and sixties. As they retire, who's gonna make it? Yeah, like these new gen, these new kids. These yeah, you just can't find help. You don't out find there. the work. No matter ethic. what that's, it, that's it's crazy. whether it's Spanish, Italian, Greek, Albanian, they don't. Nobody really wants to do the no the business. They, they want that nine to five, enough money for the week, and go home. Yeah, that yeah. hunger is missing. I, I, don't know. I agree with time. you. Even when I was big time. even delivery guys, right? Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, you know what? I work on Instacart. I take it. I don't take it. Uh, you're, you're an asshole. It's we got guys at our shop making over a thousand a week in tips. Yeah, and it's like we can't find. Them, we can't fill the spots. They don't. Yeah. They can't don't fill the spots. I don't understand. I have the same issue. And then, then the spots, the, the, the guys that you get, they're, 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 I, the elevator don't go to the top floor. You know what <laughs> yes. the, light, the lights on. Nobody's home. We, right? had, a, yeah. we had a guy about a month ago. I have, I have, I have probably a stack like this of people who have worked. So we always save their checks and same stuff. Here. So what are you going to do? It? It's just do. it's dead money. So a guy calls in. What the hell was his name? Solomon? Or? Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. I, Solomon. So, I don't know the guy's name, but I can't. He's a fish. So he, he is. I, we hired him. He comes in. Okay. You, I'm one of those guys. Don't tell me, you know, what you, you like me. Don't kiss my ass. Just let your actions Just speak your for job. yourself. He doesn't make it through one shift. 
So now this is like four or five weeks ago. I get a phone call this past week. This is uh, Sebastian. What, Sebastian? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who are you? <laughs> he goes, I work for you. I says, you work for me? I says, what's your name? He says, Sebastian's whatever. I says, ah, I, don't, I, I don't even call you working for me. I says, I have no clue who the hell you are. He goes, so he knows me because I'm Joe. I'm the face of the place. He goes, Joe, it's me. I deliver for you. I said, listen, I mean no offense to you. I have no fucking clue who you are. What do you want? I says, I'm going to get your name and he find out. He just wants his He wants his check. Hey, yeah. So he check. says, I got to go look. So we couldn't even find his pay. We had to go in the computer and look up this name. Finally, we found him. It was like five, four or five weeks ago. And I said, I'm going to come in and get your pay. So my that middle guy, he, he worked this weekend. He Because my other guy, he'll be working over the summer. He goes to Scott. So my middle guy works. He's hot-tempered like me. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a good way. So I got one delivery guy. He's he was busting tables. He's taking food off the table to uh, to bring that to the dishwasher. One delivery guy's walking in to go to bed. To just takes the piece of calamari and eats. My son's like, oh, "What are you fucking doing?" Oh my god, I hate. How, oh. do you, how do you know he didn't, they didn't want to wrap that up? This is uh, what I mean. And I said, but yeah, gotta, but you got to be careful. You, you got to. These days, yeah. Is, yeah. you know, it's a different world. It um, is. You know? it but is. we talk. You know, we talk with our hands. I mean, I had a I had a guy. I'm standing, throwing the guy out. You know, Berber said, you got to leave. You're done. Yeah. You know, he, I'm outside in the back. Take off your shirt. I had enough of you. You're yeah. a terrible waiter. Next yeah. thing you know, a cop's over at the shop. Says, yeah. this is assaulting him. Yeah. That's not assaulting you. I'm, I'm Sicilian. That's yeah. how I talk. That's, well, I'm that's, not even aggravated right now. I'm just talking to you. That's I your problem right hands. there. You're Sicilian. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy what they, they're not you're gonna hug me, people. You're going you're gonna to hug me with a knife on my back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still letting the don. Yeah. I'm only kidding. I love everybody. Uh, he got a call this morning. His guy was calling off. Oh, yeah, man. It's tough, it's you know. Uh, every, <laughs> every day, we could all write a book, right? We could. Yeah. All 100%. of us. Every, every pizzeria business. So every yeah. day is another, another character or another, yeah. another issue. Uh, so in Brooklyn Squares, though, are you, do you have brothers, family working with you with the three I stores? I do not. I have, uh, well, I consider my staff family. I really do. I, uh, so, like, I have my, uh, they're just employees, but my managers that run my other, I'm always in my Jackson store. That's my busy. That's, I'm there 11 years. I'm in Manalpin, Tom That's Trevor. your baby. That's your baby. That's my heart. Uh, you just opened up a new shop, correct? Not yet. No. I, oh, I, you're I, going I, to. I'm trying to do something as we speak in Seaside Heights on the boardwalk. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, I can't announce it because it's in the lawyer's hands. It's, Got it's, it. I'm, I'm licensing, believe it or not, but I'm still involved. I'm going to be a partner. And uh, I started getting my toes wet in Hoboken. I fell in love with Hoboken. Oh, wow. Right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right the right We're I going got... to uh, Dino and Harry's after this. It's great. It's great. The food's yeah. great there. I mean, uh, want to I mean, come, Drita? Uh, want to come? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 actually, I got a meeting at 7 o'clock with Dave Portnoy today for. Uh, oh, really? For Very nice. The second, uh, uh, for the second bite. For the, the, the yeah, one we're, bite. We're invited, so I have to do a meeting with a uh, Zoom meeting. A Zoom. I don't even have Zoom. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's your phone. At, uh, at 7 o'clock. Or so, I believe me, I would. You're paying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Jerry, Jerry's, Jerry's paying. paying. Jerry's, Jerry's Jerry. 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 He's great. Forget about paying. Give me a discount. A <laughs> <laughs> bag of flour. I make more money on that. Right? Give me a case of cheese. Yeah. For Christmas, they give you so pasta. You, no, but Jerry's great. Jerry's, Jerry, no, Jerry's good. Jerry and his family are great. I'll Thank never you. leave them. I told them always, you guys are too good. Really are. But not too good. They're good. You know what I'm saying? For our viewers out there that watch Pizza Fellas and follow us, give a description of what Brooklyn Squares is about, what you do, what made you, you know, how you so impacted So let me explain why I'm called Brooklyn Square to begin with, right? So I, I started uh, in 1982. I was nine years old for my uncle, Chicho's Pizza in Gravesend section of Brooklyn uh, Avenue, right? And I was, I was getting 10 cents a pizza box, <laughs> right? I was like, mm, wow, right? And then when I... I then I'm, when, he, when, I, when I graduated to cleaning the towel with a toothbrush, I wanted to quit. Now you can't quit. So I started with my uncle. Then I went on my own in Brooklyn. I, uh, everybody called me. My name is Peter. Peter Pizza. That was my nickname. Right. And then I moved to Jersey. And then I wanted to open up in Jersey. And when I, I told my wife, I think I want to change my name. She's like, she thought it was a bad idea. Everybody knows you. It's Peter Pizza. You're Peter Pizza. You have two stores in Brooklyn. You're opening up here. Because I was in Coney Island in Keyspan Park. And I was in Bensonhurst. But I says, you know what? I says, Brooklyn people, there's a lot of pe Brooklyn people in Monmouth Ocean County, right? Yeah. right? So I says, let me open up Brooklyn. It, it could go too easy. The Brooklynites, right? He's from Brooklyn. They taste you. If you're a wannabe Brooklyn, you're going to know it right away. You're going to get abused. If yeah. you're good, it's going to take off because all the trans. And the section I grew up with in Brooklyn, so like I said, it's graves that I hung out on a square. So I called myself Brooklyn Square. I'm pretty much 
my recipes and my signature pies are square, so I came up with the name Brooklyn Square Pizza. That's what, okay. So my pizza, uh, I do make rounds, obviously, of course, uh, but my, my thing are square pies, the upside down square, my Gravesend squares, my, I think is my best square I make, a vodka, vodka square, the artichoke, the honeymoon. Uh, I make a lot of different square pies. What and pans I just, are you using? So I'm old school. They're not dead gone. Allied metal. Oh, okay. Allied metal, really? Man, They're not I, around Anybody no out there, Brooklyn Square, if you have any 18-inch by 18 square pans, I'll buy them off you. I don't care the price. Uh, Allied metal. I thought they, yeah. they went out of business. Yeah, they sold the property and they closed up, uh, I think about now, maybe five years before COVID. Wow, They're I didn't done. know that. They were that. in the Bronx. I didn't know that. They were the, I, used the eight, I used the 18 by 18 by one inch high, black buster they were called, yeah. uh, pans. They were around forever, but... I guess the property was worth more than the business. I oh, guess, wow. With the, so they figured, let's sell it. Yeah, they sold. They retired. What about Lloyd? You haven't been able to get anything from Lloyd? I see Lloyd, but I'm not paying $90 a pan. I got you. Uh, I mean, yeah. I just had it. Like I said, I just did the pizza show in... Uh, Vegas. In, no, in September. The Pizza Fest. Not we the were show. there. We were there, Peter. You guys were yeah, out there? Yeah, we were at One Bike. One Bike? So I yeah. was there. And obviously, I didn't want to close my three stores, but I couldn't take their pans away. So I went and bought 100... Um, I think I bought 100 or 80. What? I think I bought 100 of the 16 by 16 Winkos. Okay. Shit. I don't want to knock them. I'm not. Please, I'm yeah. not. But they're not for me. But I, I had to incorporate them in for the day. For one day, two days a year, it's okay. Right. Did but, it work? Uh, Did it work to your degree or no? No. No. Not what you wanted out of it. Not my, no, no. And not, it's just okay. for me. It's just I'm not knocking Winko. They're great. I use all your other products. But uh, Lloyd, I never tried. But Lloyd is just. Uh, I think too I, expensive. In ninety something dollars. I mean, wow. think of, you buy a hundred, it's ten grand. Yeah, it's a used car. Yeah. I mean, yes, I understand. Don't get me wrong. We're making money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have, yeah. I, I get it, but I, I, maybe it's the, the, you know, the cheapness in me. I don't know. No, no, no I it's, it is what it is. But every time there's an auction, I try. I, you know, when I see there's auctions or pizzerias closing us to move, I try to go out and buy. You haven't been able to locate any at, at like uh, restaurant suppliers that no. pick up used stuff. No, no, that, that might, the word is out there. Everybody, but you knows. know what? There's a place in in Pennsylvania. I think it's in um, somewhere like where the Wilkes-Barre area is. They actually make them and they coat them, and the price is like a quarter. Actually, Sam from Samarios knows. Really, that guy sitting right there. Yeah. So th that's what I like metal did. I like made the pans. But yeah. Another company put the blackbuster coating on it. That whatever they, that they do it all. Was. They do it all there. Really? So after yeah after that, um, I'll get his number. Yeah, who does that, Sammy? Who does the pants? Who makes the pants? No, no, it's a place in Pittston that they do it. Yeah, your friend over there got it. Yeah, Cosmo Salerno. Yeah, who got him. Yeah, where the heck is that up there? I don't know. I'll get you the number, Peter. Yeah, give I'll me get your number. Yeah, I'll get you the number, definitely. And like I said, is anybody in the business looking to sell them? I'll buy them all. Uh, yeah, those are good pants. Yeah, those they, they last forever. You know, I believe if what's if it's not broke, don't, don't fix it. Right, it. the old yeah. school still work. I'm still yeah. paper and pen. Yeah, are uh, serious? Yeah. All locations. <laughs> yeah, I'm still old school paper and pen. I got a POS, but not for the way you guys probably use. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm yeah. not on no apps. I'm only on the. I guess I'll give a shout out to Slice. It's good. I'm app. only on the Slice. Slice app. is a good I think app. it's fair. Slice yeah. is fair. I mean, is fair. whether it's a ten dollars or hundred dollars, it's two fifty either you know, way. Grubhub, Uber, uh, DoorDash, they call me every day, and I turn them. They, they curse me out. They're like, "Really? Who are you?" It's I'm not eating pizza. Yeah, <laughs> click. You That's probably got I more have. followers on Instagram yeah. than they do, you know, to be I honest. Got, yeah, I got 30, thirty-one thousand. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I got a pizza page. I got about eleven thousand people on it. Eastern PA, oh. you hit my page. Really? So uh, I was Hopefully down there. You no, know, it was great, man. I was dying to go down there, and I happened to have a basketball tournament down in Manapolin down there. Manalap. Manalap. Yeah, Manapolin, however you, you pronounce it. it. And, uh, <laughs> Antonio told me to stop in there. I mean, we went in there with the whole crew, and uh, it, was, it, was, it kicked ass, even the vodka pizza, man. I'm not usually not a vodka pizza person, but everything. We got like six different ones. They were and we're still awesome. old school. We make everything in-house still, the old way, you know, uh, everything, you know, just I, pizza on the menu, or you got oh, Italian got dinners and all full that? Full menu. Full menu? My Jackson's a full sit-down restaurant service. How many oh, seats? Oh, wow. Uh, 70, 72. Perfect and, size. And, and uh, Yeah, and I don't want to go bigger. Perfect we size. Have, you know, we got a line at the door. People like, go bigger, go... Nah, some, bigger isn't better all the time, you know? I agree. I not, agree. Not, not bigger, you know, in other ways, yeah, that's good, but not... not, not yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not in the dining room. Then you need a bigger kitchen to fulfill the orders, yeah, right? 100%. Yeah. And you need a bigger staff, you know? How many, I, you know? You know, how many people want to wait an hour and a half, two hours? No, you're right. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're, you're right, right about that. But, no, it's it's great. The whole your whole concept is awesome. But I still love awesome. the business. I really do. Right? Yeah, I, I agree. Still, I'm not sick of I it agree. at all. Uh, like I mean, I frustration. You, you get the yeah. phone call this morning. But you're if you're a about lawyer the team. or an accountant, everybody's got some. Everybody's sort of got them. I had a guy call out today. I'm on my way here. What am I going to do? I, I mean, still. Uh, it, it is those happen no matter in any business. You get landscaper. That's where we're losing a lot of business, right? You yes. Guys, yeah. Come, come October, my own. There's a line at the door for work. January, where they go? Yeah. Yeah. The best part, though. Where you guys go? You get you you eat. You drink with with me over there. You got you got to go break your ass. To, yeah. You, you, come on. It's a, it's a much harder job, but, but I'm happy working outside. Going home, they're outside. They're happy going home four or five o'clock. I get it. I we, do we, too. We don't know four or five o'clock. That's our busy time, right? That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. But that's what COVID I think destroyed some of the house. Like you know, people that used to work to one, two in the morning. Like oh shit, four o'clock is nice. Like right now, it's nice, right? Yeah. But yeah, no, you're right. Because what time you stay open to at the show? Nine o'clock, I'm out the door. You're seven oh. days, Peter, or no? Seven days, nine o'clock. Four different shifts. Uh, got great crew, great staff. Got guys, they're with me since I opened. Nobody quits. I think, in, in, honestly, I'm in business on my own since 2011. I fired three people. Seriously? Holy yeah, cow. That's it. Wow, three good people. for you. Good, no, I'm not going to Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try to, I, try, I overpay. I try, you know, I try to... You have to compete with Amazon. Plus, you like got to compete said, with yes, all that. And like I said, I'm a sick man. I don't have the energy. Uh, can I get on the line? Can I make pizza? Yeah, but not for seven days. I don't have it. I still have my port and my chest. I take in the, my, my pizza is probably way four. So my dough alone is three pounds. Then you got at least a pound and something, cheese, this, you know, sauce. Yeah. It wears on me, and I'm a righty. My port's on my right side. So I, I, can I do it for a day? Yeah. Two, three days, I tell my crew, I say, I'm done. I can't. Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say it. I guess, I guess I'm getting old. And no, sick. there's it's, nothing to be embarrassed you know, about. It's you got. I got to listen uh, to my body. You know. Yeah. That's right. Are you doing par bakes on your system? No, no, right, fresh. Fr- uh, everything fresh, right at the right at the moment. No, I've we I've never par baked ever. My so right, pies, sauce on that's top. That's another in the pain in the ass. Yeah, I can't. Even when I showed up to Good Morning America in February, they're like, "Oh, bring a pre." I I I, I don't cook pre cook. I can't. They're like, all right, we got enough. I showed they got a wall of it. Yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Well, good morning, America. Six million views a day. They got a wall of it, but, not, but they're moving to the uh, to the Hudson Yards. But anyway, are I, they moving? Yeah, yeah. I won that day. I won ten grand. Did you really? Yeah, best seriously. Beat, I beat out John Zablica. And uh, oh, that's bodies. his fucking story. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that, a whole other story. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not going to go there. But no, anyway, no, no. You know, no, anyway. Sure. But Peter, thank you for yeah, being thank on. You guys. Peter, thank you. Pleasure. Hey, if you and, and I watch you guys. You guys come up on my YouTube page. Good. Yeah. Hey, oh, good. I think you guys called me once too. But Allentown yeah. is like, it's, it's, it's far. No, no, we'll come down. We'll come down. down. We'll, we'll come down. down. Yeah, you guys are more than welcome. Come out, come dinner. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll definitely. Put a, we'll put it on Jerry's tab. Jerry, Jerry, where are you? Also, uh, hey, give a shout out to Dave for us because oh, we would absolutely, love to, uh, yeah, love to be. He actually and shouted us out. Believe Dave Portnoy is a jumble. Whatever you hear, whatever. Oh bullshit. no, he's he's he he's shouted us out. Money, money for pizza business. Oh, oh, the guy's unbelievable. A gem. The guy, he's awesome. Even when I did his festival at the end of the, sh- you know, he came over and uh, you know a couple of people were, believe it or not, were riding me last year. I was getting prank calls at the store. Oh, you, you're, you're doing, fucking kidding. Yeah, you're going with a message. I can't even say that word. Message and then whatever. You oh, yeah. Know, yeah. That way. yeah. This yeah. guy, he's a this is what the that fuck it's called. So I, I, was like, I was like, he's a rapist. Yeah, whatever. So I was telling uh, Dave, I was telling Dave the story. He's like, you kidding me? He posted that that night that on Twitter. We got over a million views. Actually, we threw a hoodie that said, fuck the Washington Post. We, it was us. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it that great in yeah. the rain, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, it was awesome. So this, that was awesome. This year, it's at Randall's Island. Randall's yeah, Island. Uh, yeah, okay. that's I don't even know how to fucking get there. <laughs> Go on the side of him. Where the hell's Randall's Island? It's by Roosevelt Island on the West Side Highway. I just want to introduce the world to your salesman over here. Oh. Good Hello, old Enzo. Hey. <laughs> 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 hey, he's your paisan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're all paisans uh, over uh, here. Uh, oh, I felt something in my back. What is that? I know it ain't. Hey, it's Pekka. I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a pleasure, really. Guys, Peter, thank, thank you. you. you do. Thank you, Let's Peter. all stick together. There's enough for all of us. 100%. Tomorrow. 100%. 100%. 100%. To all the pizzerias out there's enough for all of us. Enough with these 899s on Wednesday. Oh, oh, God. God, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Pizza. I can't deal with it. Go straight. Do what you do. Let the customers go eat where they like. Yes. Right? Charge. Yeah. Make yeah. money. Charge. Yeah. All right, guys. Nice talking Thank to you. Guys. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Peter. Thanks, guys. Right. We'll Thank be in guys. touch, Peter. Yeah, Thank come you. by. Really, come yeah, by. Yeah, we will. I'll treat you guys to dinner. Thank you. Yes. Hey, so where's your credit card? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we'll make him pay. Uh, Rosa, come on. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you, Peter. That was Peter, guys, from Brooklyn Square Pizza. Go follow him on Instagram, social media. Right here. He was a great guy. We'll take a picture quick here. Sorry, guys. No, no come on. Come on. We love it. We love it. Get out of your hair. You got no hair. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job. Love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Peter. You, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Rosa, come on. Oliver, let the guest sit here. Yeah. This way, he doesn't have to look through me. Yeah. And then you can see the guest. It's easier for you to understand. Yeah, you sit there. Yeah, yeah, you, you sit, sit there. So, guys, Pizza Fellas, we're still here on at episode 39 at the Anna Capri Food Show here at the Liberty House in Jersey City. We had... Uh, Great guest on again, Peter from Brooklyn Square. Hey, yeah, Go follow him on Instagram. He's got thirty-one thousand followers. We got a new guest on here, Rosa Belia from Franco's and Wilkesbury. There we go. Hi, Rosa. Hi. How are you? Thank you for your sponsorship. Turn that mic Hello, for Rosa. Oliver. Yep. There Thanks, you go. guys, for having me. Yeah, right. we appreciate it. We always say, uh, what, "What's our tagline for Franco's?" Uh, before oh, you go to jail. Before you go to jail, eat at Rosa's. <laughs> Eat at and Rosa's. then you get 25 years. <laughs> eat at Franco's. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Before you go. That's hysterical. So, Rosa, let's let's do your story real quick. You got an interesting one. So, tell us how you started in this business, your mom and dad, and how it transpired, and where you at now, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my uh, my mom and dad came to Wilkesbury. Uh, my father worked on uh, high beams uh, back in the early 70s. He got laid off, so he uh, came to Pennsylvania to meet up with my aunt and uncle. With that being said, they started a pizzeria called Grande Pizza on 309 in uh, Blackman Plaza. And in Wilkesbury. In Wilkesbury, yes. And uh, after that, they grew out of that. They sold it, and they o- they opened up another pizzeria called Casa Luduca in the Penn Plat. I'm sorry, in the Gateway Shopping Center in Kingston, which was a couple towns over. Right. My, uh, my uncle, my father, parted ways. My father started Frank's Pizza and was located at uh, Penn Plaza, um, 400 South Main Street in Wilkesbury for a good 35 plus years. Um, my father lost his battle in life with cancer at a very young age. He was 48. And at that note, my mom and myself took over the restaurant. Just would, look this way. Don't worry about the camera. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so ultimately, I started working in a restaurant at a very young age. Uh, it was brought into my life at the age of five in 1975. So when did you start making pizza? What age? 14. Like, like really making pizza? Really making pizza at the age of 14, uh, where it was just oil-based, not flour-based. And you still spin a pizza? Yes, I do. I, I know do. you do. Every day of my life. That's right, you do. <laughs> So that came about. Now your mom was involved in the pizzeria as well, right? Yes, my mom was involved in the pizzeria from 86 to 97. And I lo- she lost her battle with cancer in 97. And ah. that's where my husband and I decided, do I want to keep the family legacy alive? Or? Or let it go. Let it go, right. And I couldn't find it within my heart because they put everything that they had into this. So I've owned it since uh, 1997 cup. Cup. until cup. current. Gotcha. Wow. Awesome. So now you you just fell in love with it, love that whole area. Love. I can't say I love the area. Um, the, <laughs> I can't say I love the area because the area has changed. Um, but it has given me what I have today. It has put food on my plate, a roof over my head. I got to purchase my own building where we reside now, which is 198 South Main. So it's given me a lot that I can't really you know say anything bad about. Um, my customers have followed me throughout the years. They followed my parents. They still come back and tell stories to my customers of how was this little girl running around Frank's Pizza and uh, sleeping in the back on a cot as my parents worked. So wow. 49 years you've been in business. Yes. And you, 60? No. Well, no, I've been, I no, started when I was No, seven. your dad, your dad. My, I'm, I'm basically, for myself, if you count the not, non-full-time, 51 years. Fifty-one and forty-nine. Yeah, we're right there. One hundred and ten right years. Yes, we've got we've oh, got no, a lot of scars, you know, yes, in a good way. You know, yes. in a good way. We put a lot of hard work and sweat, but um, you know, we're very proud of who we are and what we've become. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, you're right. Amen you're right. to that. And we get up every day and we do it with all the current challenges that we have on a day-to-day basis. How many days are you open over there now? We're open six. Six. So yes, are you. Monday through Saturday. 
and then close Sundays. Yes, yeah, Sundays. We're are five. Best, best advice somebody ever gave you. Sunday's got to be family day. We put our hard work in when we were young. At this point, we need to enjoy our kids, grandkids. Uh, my son just got married, so I want to enjoy my family. I've always put my career first and never my family, and it's time for me to put my family first and not my career. I think when we had that discussion at Biagio's, we were at table 21, yes. and I said one of the regrets, at that time I was open seven days a week, I said one of the regrets I had that I was open seven days, and I, would, I said to you, my advice to you is close one day, and then soon after you did, you, you did that, and I eventually just followed in suit too because I said, why don't I take my own advice? <laughs> True that. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we... Uh, we we get so wrapped up in what we do, and we do love what we do. Yeah. As much as it's you know a lot of hard work and sweat, but we have to love and to see the smile on our customers' faces at the end of every time that they visit, or the, when they come in that they can walk in and That's right. give you a hug, and just to you know to for them to free themselves of their lives to come into our restaurants just to enjoy that that meal and that little bit of rac- relaxation is the you know that's what fills my heart. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's for me, I, I, I had pleasure in many customers. I'll come in and I'll look and I'll say, wow, I've been serving that person or that family since I'm seven years old. You know, slices. Incredible. Of, and, and it's just incredible. And, like, I'll walk up to a table and I'm like, you know, I just can't believe the years that, that you've supported me and the faith you have in me when I prepare your food, you know. You're not going to please everybody, but we please quite a few people, you know. That's a real good feeling. I, I agree 100%. Yes. And Rosa is a phenomenal cook. I mean, she. Who'd you bring with you today, Rosa? I brought my son Francesco. Is hey, he, Francesco. Did he just get married? Uh, no. No, no. Oh, okay. My he can't daughter. get married, this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, Frankie. Not yet. That's, that's for sure. He's a free soul. He's too young to get married yet. What married? He has, lot, he has a lot of life to live. <laughs> that's good, right. Good. But uh, that's great to see. Frankie worked with me uh, since he was uh, 12 years old. He just recently left the company, but uh, he's always uh, has his nose. In no, there, he making, does. Making sure. Come over here. Come over here. He's never going to leave. That's it. He's staying with you. Sit next to, uh, sit, sit by the donkey over here. <laughs> come on. Come on. Uh, let me hop over. Yeah. Uh, hold, hold, thank you. There you go. There you go. Once you're a part of the family business, you never part. You never really leave. You're always still a part of it. Right I'm here, Frank. You don't talk by. to the camera. Talk to us. I'm still stopping by there all yeah. the time. I'm still taking orders. It never, you, it never leaves who you are. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, I still use a lot of who I am. Right. In my job, no matter what, because of the pizzeria. And what's funny, I sell cars now, but I still send people to the pizzeria afterwards. There you go. That's, that's your point, right? Oh, my God. That's, that's, your, that's your point in, 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 in selling a car. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I talk about my family business and how I started. And We're going like, to get Lou on. Since 12 years old. I've been in the restaurant industry for 10, 13 years almost. So it's just, I know how to just sell. I'll, I'll convince people to sell a little bit. Get a pizza yeah. and a car. I'll give you a little discount sure. as long as you buy the car from me. So H- how old are you, Frank? I'm 25. 25, okay. 25. So I got 10 years on you. I'm yeah. not the youngest here. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm the youngest. Hey, usually I'm the youngest. No, we usually bust his balls. But, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, I'm the youngest guy. I'm hanging out with all these old guys at the uh, age of 35. Old guys, you hear him? Oh, <laughs> please don't look at don't get him <laughs> please. I gotta but, keep my hand I don't even want to say we're so, we're, this is all new to some of these guys yeah. some of these guys are using typewriters this guy Jerry we picked up this morning he's writing his schedule with dotted lines on the paper <laughs> yeah. sending it out to his fucking taking team. a screenshot to oh, oh, what God. the fuck are you doing what are you doing <laughs> that's just how it is you know right. that's that old school way but Rosa guys, tell us they're always stuck in their way. tell us your uh, address flip it over or oh. Frankie you say it Oh, we're at 198 South Main Street in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. You can't miss us. Lucky Beautiful. Yeah. And the name oh, of the place oh, is? Franco's Pizza There Wilkes-Barre. you go. There and they go. are an official sponsor of the Pete's Fellows Yes, podcast. they are. We are. Yep. We First time we got her on. We are tr- future of tradition. That's it. That's it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know future somebody that made that. Future of tradition. The future of tradition. A very, very smart man gave me that line, and I always use it. Oh, this guy, is he bald? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all? <laughs> I got to get Lou on. I got to get Lou on. Lou's looking this all right, guy. Well, thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Call we Lou. are. Lou. Or his, or, his, or, his, or his cousin. Lou, come, come on over. Oh, yeah. All right, give me. Let's give me your cousin, Lou. How about your cousin? Come on on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can curse on here. Come on. Bring the cigar, bring, bring the cigar. What the cigar. fuck? Let's go. Anyways, guys, also, as he, co- we have another couple guests coming on. We want to thank you to our sponsors. Uh, we have Banco Beverage. Banco Beverage, thank you. Tony Gallo, Help Jim Glassick, 
and uh, Joe Marino. Also, we want to thank you to Jack Daniels and Paps Blue Ribbon. We got, look at all the key things; they're already gone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. they, don't have it up there. Yeah. they got all that gone. Oh shit! This is loud. Oh yeah, is it loud? I, it's loud. It's I got. Uh, we'll lower. You can lower it for you. You got uh, right there on one. one lower that off. down a little take bit. One ear off a little bit. Yeah, just lower it down. There you go. Better. That's How's good. that? That's good. All, all right. right. All right. So our next guest here, please introduce yourself. Is Capones. Capones at Tom's River. Oliver, push pushes mic a little more. Capones at Tom. And you're what? That's the. What do you mean? You live in fucking Allentown. Oh, sure, true, true. Do you go to his pizzeria? No. Nice. So Capone. <laughs> you're about a half hour from me. I'm right off the Parkway, exit 82. How how long you been there? I've been here 27 years. 27 years. Holy cow. My 27 God. years. Where's your location? Uh, 17 Washington Street. 17 Washington in Tom's River. Tom's River. I'm right downtown by the courthouse. Okay. Oh, another one by the courthouse. So if you get a, it, it's a little, if you go to jail. Donovan, move his mic. Or if you go to the, go yeah. to the library, yeah. you'll find me. Hold there on. you go. I'm adjusting here. I'm ready. Yeah, All right, there, there we go. go. Look at you guys with the Bud Lights. Oh, yeah. You want one? I don't, I, yeah, I got nothing. Jerry! Jerry! He needs a Bud Light. Hurry up. <laughs> Come on. Go get him a fucking beer. Right here, there you go. Unopen. You got to make your guest comfortable. Right. What do you mean? Salud. Salud. Cheers. Oh, we're going to get Trish on. <laughs> so, now, you're related to... Yes, my aunt. Trish is your aunt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's your aunt. <laughs> so, <laughs> lose your cousin. That's right. Lose my cousin, yes. Your younger cousin. Yeah. He just ran away from us, the fucking asshole. He did. He should be on here now. Yeah, he's a... He, he runs away like a little mouse. He's a little squarish sometimes. So, yeah. 20... You said how many years? Well, 27 years. Okay. 27 years. Yeah. <laughs> People just don't see the... Yeah, okay, they, there you go. They don't see the 27 years. So, what's your specialty out I, there? Are you known for what? Burning, I have a wood burning oven. Oh, you do? True wood. No gas line in there. It's true wood. Uh, I do steaks in there, the chickens, pizza, everything. But no I shit. I also make uh, homemade pasta every day. Oh, wow. Everything. Every pasta, every ravioli. And I also have a stuffed gnocchi. I don't even know if anybody makes them around here. Stuffed gnocchi? The stuffed gnocchi. With? Stuff it? Four cheese. Uh, one's basil pesto. No kidding. Uh, one sausage and mushroom. Well, that's you. How many pounds well, a week? How come you we never went there? Uh, that we make good. thousands of them. <laughs> thousands a week. Yeah. Oh, it has to. The machine pumps out thousands. Oh, of so them. you have a machine doing yes. it? Yeah, I'm not rolling that. <laughs> I was going to say that's a lot. <laughs> I, of... at, I, I watch them come out. <laughs> well, you have. To. You're, I mean, you prepare the dough and then you yeah, put the, it in. One hopper's got the dough and the one hopper's got the filling, and it shoots it out, and cuts it. Done. It's an Italian machine. Yes. No kidding. What's the name of that machine? Italia. Italia. Italia? Yeah. Okay. How do you spell? How do you spell it? I N A T. Uh, I found spelling in school. That's Italian. why I make a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I didn't go to college. <laughs> what the pizza college? So you've been making your pasta since day one. From day one, I can't get away with it. I can't. I can't put a box pasta on the table. Now. How many? Cups no, are you can't. No, it's just totally. It's a night and day uh, product. Are you using an Italian flour to make it, or are you using? Yeah, I use the pasta flour. Oh, you do. Yeah. Well, for okay. I do. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice flour. And then my the right that's for the raviolis, but the regular pasta I just use dorm and semolina. Okay. And you mix so, them together. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so extra good. fancy and number one. Yeah, if you go you can see all the pictures are on the website on the on the Facebook page. I think it's Capone's TR dot com. No, I think we do follow you. Yeah, yeah. we do follow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Be on there. There's some yeah, good yeah, stuff yeah. on there. Yeah, we I, do follow you. Listen, yeah. I follow we follow everyone. Me and him are on there. Yeah, okay. all day long. I got all day long okay. following. I'm looking yeah, I at see all. you there. I, I see it. I know the name now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just switched up our logo. This was our old logo. We have now our okay. new logo. Here, take a hat. You okay. wear hats? Oh, yeah, you guys take a hat. Yeah, go ahead, right in front of you. Right in front of you. Yeah, take them both if you want. When you leave, you can take a hat. Oh, yeah. So what percentage do you sell of pizza and dinners, or is it like almost it's like combined, so, like a 50-50? It's, it's almost 50-50. Like on your Friday nights, you're obviously doing more pizza to go and delivery, stuff like that. And your Saturday, you got a little bit more of the dining room. So you got delivery yeah. service? Delivery, yeah. Oh, you do? You like, you grub up? You do. Do you do oh, third-party apps? Four tablets. Four, what Rings. POS system are you using? Uh, silverware. Silverware? Yeah. I used that from the beginning. You my, like it? My brother-in-law's father's company. 
Okay. Oh, that makes sense. So, <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, no, 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 no. You're no, no, no. born into it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, we're not talking at Christmas. <laughs> right? They're not coming table. over. <laughs> right. You guys open seven days a week? No, I'm closed on Sunday. Perfect. Amen. Hey, uh, so, right. so, Forever so, since you opened? I've never opened on a Sunday. Salute hey, to man. you. I do parties. If I get a banquet or something like that, I'll do it. And what is your restaurant comedy? How many people? Uh, right now, I'm about 68. Yeah. Oh. That's but us. I, I had a part next to me that I held another hundred, but I leased that out to a distillery now. So we have a distillery oh, right next door. Interesting. Who is it? Uh, Garden State Distillery. Okay, I've heard of them. Yeah, they make vodka. Yeah, different uh, vodkas the, and stuff. The bourbon. My buddy had a bottle of it one time. Yeah. He lives in by the beach. But you don't have a liquor license. I don't have a liquor license. So do you utilize them? I used to have a liquor license. I sold that in I think 2012. You did? Why? Things got a little shady back then. It was a little weird from 08, oh no, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I lost a little parking lot across the street, so, you know, you want to have a drink, you want to pull into a parking lot. You know, oh. Park 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 yeah. that, that touched me a little bit. Oh, I got you. So, but you know what? I like it. Six boots and ten tables. Easy. Done. Yeah. As yeah, opposed easy. To, opposed to 160 people I had. Holy you know, that's shit. That's a lot. It's a lot yeah. more. It's a lot of work. It is. It's a lot. It's a lot, lot more work. You've got to love it. If you don't love it, you're not going to be there. Your, your pizza, though, you're, you're cooking in your wood oven. It's not your normal New York style. It's more no, Neapolitan. Use, yeah, and I use only 12-inch for that. I want to do yes. small pies. And I have the other two regular ovens that I use to do regular. Oh, so, you, okay, so you do have I like do a both. thin crust. You do both. Yeah, I wow. Do both. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's an organized mess. Like, if you come out on a Friday night, it's, it's a mess, but it's organized. Yeah, it's chaos. <laughs> that's the best yeah. way I can explain that's to people. It's chaos. Sure. So you have a lot of family working with you? or I have My parents are still involved. No kidding. My wife. So my father makes homemade salad dressing. My salad dressing? Salad dressing, yeah. That's his thing? It's his thing. It's a, it's a sweet balsamic, a little honey. It's oh. very, very good. good. Okay. My mother d- still does all the desserts. All the no desserts? No kidding. Wow. She makes a pistachio cake that we can't keep in the house. Pistachio cake? Pistachio cake. I love pistachio cake. So do I. You, non- can, you sell me a pistachio cake any day of the it's week. Non-stop. I'll eat it. Non-stop. I love uh, it. Non-stop. Because, you know, tiramisu she'll do. Yeah, right. Chocolate cake, cheesecake, uh, carrot cake, and apple. That's a good lineup. So on a day like yesterday, Mother's Day, still closed. Closed. And you're enjoying your I family. I used to play that game years ago, but I'm not playing that game no more. Yeah. No, I don't no. blame you. You got to come in with a special menu. Yeah. Uh, you got to stock this, I stock that. the guys to come in. No yeah. one wants to work on a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. They've had it all for 20 years. They want to go out with their mothers. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they want to enjoy yeah, their so family. I had everybody over. I still cooked. I had everybody at my house yesterday. Yeah, that's oh, nice. the best way okay. to do it. And it's easier. Yeah, Did you it have is. your cousin Trish? No. Lewis took her out. <laughs> one good thing right? that he did. Well, yeah, one good in that suit he's right? wearing. <laughs> looks like G, GQ he looks, with his he bear. Look, he looks handsome. His bear hair look, coming out of him. Oh yeah, he does. And you know he got dressed. Like took him three hours to get he, dressed. I know he did. <laughs> oh, he probably put one on. His wife told him. Yeah, one hair is off. He's got to. He's got to re shower again. <laughs> Oh, well, funny. thank you for coming on. Yeah. Give us the address no. again, who you are, and in, in, in the a, name of the place. It's uh, Capone, 17 Washington Street, Tom's River, River, downtown, right across from the courthouse. Fantastic. Awesome. Don't nice. come on Sunday. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won't be there. Uh, well, well, maybe one guys. day we'll shoot down. Yes, we'll shoot down I'd one day. To. Yeah, I'd why not? To. Yeah, definitely stop in. Yeah, yeah we... I'll, I'll give you some of the stuffed gnocchi. Absolutely. Oh, you got to try it. It's hard to explain. It's very light. It's not heavy like a normal gnocchi. No, a good gnocchis are like, yes, you, have you know, to, when, yeah. especially the homemade ones like yep. that. People don't realize that. Yeah, you you know, when they think of a gnocchi, a gnocchi's not supposed to be heavy. Yeah, right it's away supposed they to get be scared. Like, oh, it's going oh, to be dense. Like, I'm like, not going to ship for a yeah, week. Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's it. Yeah. That's right. Not, <laughs> not at Capone's, though. Not, not at Capone's. Capone's. No. Thank you guys so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank, Thank you for coming on. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break here. Take a piss break. Go hang out, relax a little bit, and we'll be back with some more guests. Episode 39. Remember, follow, subscribe on Spotify. Hey, what's up, guys? Back here Thanks, guys. at the we'll Free Food Show at Liberty House in Jersey City. Remember, go follow us. Episode 39 here. Pizza Fellows Podcast, Spotify, YouTube. And we are honored to have Lou on. Finally. Finally. Glad to be here. Glad to be here, huh? Get him on. Hey, Lou, your family, you guys did a great job today with this food show. Yeah. Uh, a lot of vendors, the Thank casino. You. That I mean, that's rockin probably the first there. time. That place is rocking. You walk in, you think it's a ghost town, but then you go to the casino, <laughs> and everyone's in there. No, you can't even walk in. Yeah, you can't walk in. You can't even walk in. You got stuck. I had to do something different. Yeah. But you did right. You, you did, did right. right. <laughs> you definitely did right. So let's get into a quick, will you, Lou? Hey, 
the business you're in, you see all these customers. How do you feel when this happens, when you got all this going on? Well, I'll say the reason I love to do these is we have about 2,000 customers. I would have to spend all day, all night, seven days a week trying to see everybody, you know, Which in you one can. year. And I, I, we just can't. Can. And I love this because it's a fun day and I get to see so many faces and so many people that I, I mean, listen, I see you guys all the time. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, you know, all the other people that I, I, I don't get to see all year long. It's, it's just, it's nice. You it's know? nice. That one time of the year we can, and, and you provide a little back, you give them back. You know, they're, they're yeah. good customers it's, yours. We call them food shows, but I, I call them, you know, customer <clears throat> appreciation events. That's, That's great. And this is the third year, am I right? Or fourth? Oh, well, since COVID. It's, since. This is like our, probably our seventh food show. Seven. But we took a little hiatus because of COVID. But the Liberty, you've been, this is the third, third or fourth time here, correct? Yeah, this is our fourth time. Here. Fourth time here. It's this four is a times beautiful or? venue. Yeah, beautiful venue. I love this whole area. But uh, it's glad you got your beautiful daughter here and your beautiful wife. There she, she is. is. <laughs> Hello. And what's your name, sweetheart? What's your name? Why do I have those? <laughs> Go ahead. You can take a hat. It's not designer. She doesn't want yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> How old is your daughter now? She's four. Oh, great. Then you have a little one, too. I have an 18-month-old one, too. She's not here. No, she's sleeping. Oh, okay. See, yeah. <laughs> I have a seven-year-old, so yeah, I know. And we're, my wife, she's actually she's pregnant now, so knock Congrats. on wood. Hopefully, congratulations. Thank you. So something, everything goes well with that. But uh, they're the best. That's what we do it for, right? It's what the hard, the long hours, the work. Absolutely. And Lou, when did you start in this? Um, after I graduated Fordham, um, so I'm 35 now. 13 years ago. 13 years. Roger, and you started in the Ford. warehouse or oh, yeah. the truck. Where did you start picking? Oh, it, summers when I was a teenager, you know, warehouse. All I was, that's where I was since I was 13, 14 years old. Wow. Wow, working in a hot warehouse all the time. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. We didn't have the cool dog. No, it was, no. It was 100 <laughs> degrees all day long. Oh, my but, God. What did you but, graduate with uh, your degree? Um, it was bu- business. You know, business, economics. yeah, same. Yeah, awesome. That's great. So how many, Fordham? That that must have been a great t- college career. It was it was fun. I didn't love the Bronx. I, I you know I'm, gotcha. I'm a city guy, but uh, you know it was uh, it was it was a good experience. Yeah, that's a that's a sketchy area over there too. That you know one block it's great, the next block you're running for help. Uh, yeah. uh, Arthur Ave is off limits. You're safe everywhere else is fair game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's now, how's true. it been working with your dad all these these years? You ever met his, you ever met his father? <laughs> I met him no. many of times, oh. <laughs> but I would like to hear it from Lou's standpoint. Working with family, you know, it's it's interesting. Watch your mother's <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it sometimes it's like uh, you know it follows you home because you know Italian family, everybody's very close. Oh yeah, but um, you know you know what it's like. It's yeah, it's honestly better than having a real a real real boss. boss. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You're right about that. That's yeah. very very true. <laughs> Other people don't know that, yeah. So, Jeez. Lou, where do you see Anna Capri going beyond this? Meaning, uh, I know we cover a lot of states in Pennsylvania and New York and some parts of Connecticut, let's just say, and New Jersey, but where do you see this going? Like, where do you see this food service going? I mean, you know, obviously nothing but up for us. We've been expanding, you know, nonstop the last uh, decade. God bless. Yes, we are. Um, but, you know... Just continue to do what we're doing in the areas that we do it in. I I don't want to say I want to go broadline. I don't want to. We we. You always we, said that we have yeah. our niche. You do. I think we're very good at what we do. Yes. And we we always continue to have that family feel. You know, yeah. is as we grow and get bigger. Yeah. And I just you know, I I, I don't want to you know project that we're gonna do right. do X here, but. Uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race. That's right. Your father always says that. But he says it in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, that's it. Why are you guys giving me such deep questions? No, it's not a deep <laughs> question. <laughs> but it's like, it's right a now, great question. Right now, when you when see... Till I, when until I get your mother on here. Right, right <laughs> now, though, right. there, is a, there is a big niche for the mom and pop in this industry because, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on in the industry, and mom and pops are disappearing. Absolutely. And there's something for that communication of that. So I, I think it'll always be necessary, and it's good when you can have a good family that has, a, has something like what Anna Capri has going you know on. What the, I think the, mom and pop wants to do business with mom and pop. Yeah. yeah. And you leave the chains 
you know, to the big the big corporations. They yeah. could have them. I don't want the change. No, you're right. And this is what it's all about because, quite frankly, you could come in and talk to the owner of the company, his wife, his son, on a first-hand basis. I'm not knocking the corporate world, but in corporate America, where is the boss? They're stockholders. Doesn't exist. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah, exist. doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. So at five o'clock, his cell phone gets shut off. Exactly. I never get shut off. Well, yeah. he'll start texting you at two a.m. <laughs> or twelve o'clock for a for a question that we don't know. I don't even want to get into it, but you know, but it is what it is. And you know, I, and I I feel as a salesman with the company, I, I came from a broadline. I came from a mom and pop. Then it became broadline, and then from broadline, I went back to mom and pop, and it was a, uh, it was um. It was kind of a, how would you say, a, a shock, a, a culture shock. Because I'm like, man, we don't have this, but we have this. All right, then you had to focus everything to the mom and pop, but not necessarily. And you start winning the race with that. You, you know adapt. I mean? yeah. You adapt, but it's a good adapt because I, I got to say, I break his balls constantly, all week long. I text him, I call him, I complain. I complain to him more than probably anybody. But he listens, you know? It might not take him that second, but he'll do it, hundred percent. And if so, you're not in that area, in that aspect of life, when you're in that business, you're looking to call that owner. You might not get him. No, you know. And now you have yeah. a guy who's listen. His dad calls me on Saturdays and tells me things. I'm like, oh my god, he's calling me on Saturday again. <laughs> but it's it's for a reason. It's it, I love it. I I love what I do. I love the company that I'm in, and I'm glad I'm I'm growing with them. So I see a bright future in this, and. Um, he just continues to grow, and we all grow. Obviously, you know. Yeah. Get a great staff too. Yeah, Thank he you does. Well. Appreciate that. He does. Everyone you got around you. The COVID was hard. Very but, hard. You know, everything's back to. But normal. we delivered, Lou. We. D- I can I can proudly say. Yeah. We never held the truck. No, back. we never we held never the truck. Held delivery back. No. I we can't delivered say that during for COVID. Right? Yeah, no, it's, our, 100%. You know, when our competitors are holding back, you know, five, weeks, ten trucks a day. Weeks, you know. yeah, and, you know, we got it Yeah, done. a lot of companies had problems because of the driver situation. Trucks were getting pushed back two days. I mean, that was, I, I heard our stories with some guys. I was like, oh, It was my terrible. God. It was terrible. But we, we gained, I mean, and we're still recognized today for that. Yeah. And a lot of people still say it to me then. When nobody delivered to me, you guys did. And that means a lot. Yeah, it wasn't sure. It's like they, they, everything was there. You know, there was uh, there was other companies and other places that guys weren't getting what they ordered. You know, and it, no. just, it just wasn't there. It's, that's a good good point to bring up. That's an amazing thing to have happen, though, huh? It really is. It's a good thing. It's it. a great thing, actually. It's a great. Well, you guys thing. got great drivers. Shout out to Darren. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout Darren. out to Darren. Darren's been yeah. with you guys for a while. Yeah. He's yeah. a great guy. He's a, a really time. good. He, long he, time. I'll tell you what. He, he really takes care of his his job. He really enjoys what he does. He takes care. He has the customer when he comes in. He's just a wonderful person. He really is. Nice, soft spoken. You know. And <laughs> without saying, I gotta I gotta shout out. I mean, I shouldn't shout out. I should say I should compliment Lou with his pizza dough. Yeah. I mean, this is all this guy talks about. <laughs> I mean, I just spoke to his wife. His wife's like, I eat pizza 24 hours a day because of him. And the, that's the reason why she married him, she told me. And that's, I mean, he hit, that's an ace in the hole, honestly. Yeah. Well, so you, you can always make pizza and you can make everybody smile. With yeah, it. yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, Lou, Lou th- thank, thank you. you again. Thank you, Lou. Thank you for taking for- the time. For driving all the way down here. No, of- listen, I'm giving you the bill at the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your family. We appreciate it. Now i got to get your mom on. Thank you. Look, she's running away. She's going into the Hudson River. <laughs> right. Thanks, Lou. All right, guys. Thanks, Lou. Cool. Thanks. What do we got? All right. There we go. So we got uh, Anthony from Nino's Pizza and Toby Hanna. Yes, sir. He the made fish. the ride over. Fish, that's his, uh, his middle name. Yeah, I don't want to tell Lou this, but he's a professional poker player, so he won about four grand today. Fifty bucks to start too. Yeah, yeah. I ran it up. I ran it up. So tell us about your pizzeria. Well, it's John's really, but you know, you manage yeah. it, run it, and whatever you do. Absolutely. So, so Nino's Pizza, Toby Hanna. Yeah. Uh, Poconos area. Where, did, where exactly is it? On what? One. Uh, Route one ninety six. One ninety six. You know that you've been there. I know, but they don't you know. know. Your yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. They they're very very loyal guys. They really are. They do. Absolutely. You know, they're 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 actually good guys. They're yeah. actually they're young. They're good guys. Work hard. They're, they work hard. Unbelievable. They I mean, 
fantastic guys. Honest to God, the whole crew there. I I spoke to John like ten times last week. Yeah, he's like, make sure fish wins. I, I'm gonna yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. he's the professional guy, not me. He told me come here, uh, you know, because I do I do professional poker on the side. Right. Uh, and he goes, oh, there's gonna be poker there. You know, go just take all their money and <laughs> we'll chop it up with you. We'll chop and then it I up. get here, it's ten dollars a hand blackjack, and they won't let me get any higher. And I'm like, I'm in there like a high roller, like handing my comp card and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Nino's Pizza, great business, the whole nine. Um, I gotta ask though, I'm a big fan of the pod. Where is it? Where's the Freedom Funnel? Oh, I oh, did. Bring we it. left it home. We didn't bring it. We didn't have enough room. Unbelievable. Yeah. I came here just for that. No, please. If we would have had the free, uh, the, free uh, yeah. the Freedom Funnel here, <laughs> well, people would be swimming about, in the uh, Hudson uh, River. <laughs> I mean, we would have done it. I, I mean, say I would have done with one with you guys. We would have definitely it's done good. it, but you know. Actually, when we packed it up, I looked over and it. it was probably the only thing left on the table. I, I left it there. The freedom I funnel. actually looked at it. When Ashton let me in the garage, I was like, should I take this? And I'm like, well, I'm not taking no fucking freedom funnel. I mean, <laughs> I mean this is, it's, well, come on. It's good. It's good for the guests. It's good for yeah. the show. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. Rolling. It I does. Like it definitely funnel. does. It's a good bit. It is. It, it is. is a good bit. It has got enough shit on the table. You might as well use yeah. the things that we really like. You know? Yeah, so what would you think of the show? I love the show. It was good. I was just up there. I mean, I was waiting to come on here, so I only did a quick bruise, but uh, I also went in the casino. You know, It's packed in there now. It's packed. You can't move. I know, and it's three. We waited 20 minutes to get on a blackjack table. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. And then I start running it up, and I get three blackjacks in a row. I try pressing my bet. She's like, no, $10 only. And I was like, damn. <laughs> like what is this? What did I come out here for? But no, it's fun. It's really good. Only. I like the Can't way they set back. that up. Yeah, they don't want. They don't want you. Uh, they they want don't want you to. Like win, they don't want you to win money. See, John thinks he's got it all figured out. You so know, you and I have here. to play the game with John. By right. the time he finds out, but no, I, we shouldn't play because then he's gonna text me, call yes. me. You know, and, uh, you know John. Yeah, I you know, know John. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna stop. Actually, he sends you from Pennsylvania, but meanwhile, he lives here. Yeah, he's closer. He lives so 25 he minutes me. away. It was so funny. He's like, oh, can you go? You know, like, uh, it's far from me. I'm like, I fucking live near your business, you, you know? Yeah, he lives here in New Jersey. Yeah, how far is Newark from here? What do you mean? It's fucking 20 minutes. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't really know the area. No. I mean, I'll start so coming in there once they get table He games. lives in Newark and owns the place in Tobiana? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Wow, does he own any other places or just that nope, one? Nope, just that one. Just that one. Just that one. But John's into, like, construction and shit, you know. Yeah, he does all. He's got his hand in everything. Yeah, I think he's still doing construction. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I got my hand in everything, too, but I, I lean towards the gambling side. But one complements the other. 100%. It really does, you know, like... Uh, even even just being a poker player. I mean, if you're an entrepreneur and you're a pizzeria owner, right. you have to look out for things, right? As a pizzeria owner, you're right. looking out for your overhead. You're looking out for your labor costs. Correct. The whole nine. Even as a poker player, you know, my inventory is the chip stack I got in front of me. That's correct. And my skills are my people's skills. If I got some guy sitting across from me, like two days ago, I was playing against this guy, very wealthy business owner. Where in, were you playing? Uh, Wind Creek Casino. In okay. Lebanon. Okay. Didn't have a clue what he was doing. Okay, a lot of players at the table they get pissed off about that. But yeah, that kind of like throws the table off, throws right? Throws the table off, but it really shouldn't, right? If you're playing professionally and you're playing for a living, these are the players you want at the table. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your job as a professional is to keep them comfortable. Well, let me ask you a question before you go That's on. It. How okay. do you know? How do you know that guy? That's the first was enough to that. par. So That's interesting. You have a base strategy, and if you <clears> see people. You know, everybody has their own base strategy. I can go on forever about that. But, you know, if you have a solid, uh, basic winning strategy and you see someone deviating from that, and this guy was deviating from it, like, you know, if we talk about margins in business, this was a big margin. This is like pepperoni topping margin. You know, it was pretty fucking good. Um, you can tell when people are playing a little too wide. And basically, you want that guy at the table as long as possible because the house always wins. You are effectively the house at that point because you are playing a solid strategy, a winning strategy, and that guy is not. So the more of those guys you can have at the table, and the more you keep them comfortable and you keep them there, the more money you make. It's like pizza, right? That's you, interesting. You follow your customers, right? You, like, you know what your customers want. You keep your price margins where they should be, as high as possible that they'll pay, at the highest quality that they'll keep coming back, right? Amen so, to that. Right. So if I have a poker player that's sitting across from me and he's absolutely awful at poker... I want that guy there all the time. There's bad players that get it wrong, and they berate this player. They say, oh, I don't want him here because he's ruining my game. Well, am I allowed to curse on I probably curse yeah. a bunch Fuck of yeah, you can curse. Like, you're an asshole, okay, yeah. because you want that guy there. That guy is your bottom line. You want him to stay as long as possible. You want him to keep playing. You want him having fun. The whole nine. Even if he stacks you and he gets lucky, you know, stacks, takes all your money. Free buy. You know, you're going to get it back eventually. That's it. The guy's just True. having fun. 
and you're playing professional, you're grinding out an edge. It. Yeah, I'm a better guest than my brother, the Pizza Slayer. You know? <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the Pizza Slayer. Pizza Slayer. We, we love you. <laughs> the Jesus Pizza Christ. Slayer. What was the fucking girl's yeah. name? Cheetah. No, he's not Cheetah here. Fit. Cheetah. You guys can all. Oh, yeah, that. Princess. Oh, Princess. That, Princess. I, I digress. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. Anyway. But, yeah. No, I mean. Have yeah. you played in the Vegas tournament? Yeah, so I played in the WSOP once. Um, I, I did what's called satelliting in. I played a smaller tournament to get into that tournament. So, like, we had a uh, series of 20 tournaments. I won, like, six out of the 20. It's all point-based. I came in, like, second a bunch. So I got enough points to get into the main one. Unfortunately, did not cash the main one. Uh, it was a rough go for me. I made it to day three, like, right before you get paid. It's a super long tournament. Is yeah. it? Yeah. The one you see on TV is about uh, anywhere from 8 to 13 days long. Um, you know, the final table can go from up to, like, two days. And uh, it's a grind. Just like just like business, pizza, pizza. And how long have you been doing grind. this, Ant? Uh, I've been playing poker since I was 15. I've been winning since I was 21. Uh, I was a big losing player. And it's, it's just like, you know, being a pizzeria owner, right? You open up your business. You're not just going to be successful right away. No. You have to grind. You have to learn your customers. You have to learn the business. That's correct. How'd you end up learning the ins and outs? Just through losing? So I actually, yes, you learn through losing. But I also hired a coach. Um, they have coaches? Josh August. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, not all that? coaches are created the same. I there didn't are some snake that. oil salesmen out there, but uh, you can hire a professional coach. Uh, Where they, was the coach from? In Pennsylvania? Uh, he was from Vegas, actually. How'd you yeah. hear of him? Uh, just a stroke of luck, social media, actually. And uh, you kind of well, walked the you wire took, with you, that. You took a beating so bad one day that you were yeah. like, I need to do fucking Ab- stuff. Absolutely. Um, because... You know, out of all the gambling forms, like you can go in that room right over there now where we have the casino. You're you're not going to do very well. You know, if you stay there a while, you might uh, you might go to roulette. You might hit a number or two, and you might be good. But the longer you stay in there, they're going to get you, especially at low minimums. Right, right, right. And stuff like that. But poker is against people, and people make mistakes, right? And that's where you're trying to profit. And it sounds like a no, no. It sounds it sounds like a scummy kind of way no. to make money, but it's entertainment <coughs> really. And that's where I bring back to like my first point. Where you're keeping people comfortable, keep them at the table. It's entertainment for them. Not everybody's a professional poker player. Some people are coming just to have fun, yeah, and those are the people that are paying your bills. Two hundred dollars, I don't care. Absolutely, and you're the guy we love. You know, we love we love guys like you. Uh, we just hope you have a lot more than two hundred dollars. Yeah. So yeah. not not to get personal, but what sure. was your biggest winning? If you don't want to say, that's fine. Oh, I don't care. I share it all the time. Uh, biggest tournament win. Uh, I'm not the best tournament player. I specialize in cash games, which is just we just sit down. Yeah. And we just play for the money in front of us. Mm-hmm. Biggest tournament win was around 12000 um, That's documented on Hendon Mob. That's like how we keep track, how we keep score. And uh, biggest win was actually a bad beat jackpot at Mount Airy Casino, which is right near the pizzeria about oh, yeah, five yeah. minutes away. Yeah. Uh, that was for $32,000. No yeah. kidding. It was wow. actually like 45, but Uncle Sam takes like 25, 30%, that cocksucker. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, you know, just, just playing regular cash games, you know, I'll make anywhere from 20 to $50 an hour, depending on the So basically anything play. over 10000 in a casino, they do take. Correct, correct. And then like non-jackpot winnings, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Lodge live stream. It's a card room in Texas. They stream on YouTube. No. Very big following. I played on their show. I made like uh, $26,000 in three hours. Is that right? Ten. Yeah. The games are crazy out in Texas. It's crazy. I guess that's why they call it Texas Hold'em, but it, it is true. It is nuts out there. It's true. Wild. It's in the pizza moment. shop, how many hours a week you're working? So I was doing, God, it was crazy. So I would do anywhere between 45 and 50 hours, and then I would go. Yeah, how many, then my and, next question, so how many hours a week are you working at poker? Yeah, then I'd go home, shower. I live right across the street. I go home, shower, 15 minutes, just literally like, just fucking throw water on my face, go to the casino, and probably grind. What's you know, your five main casino you play at? Uh, Mount Airy Casino. It's close, it's close to yeah, it's not the Yeah, um, it's not the most like prestigious casino. The poker is not really known there. But I do travel in the immediate area, Mohegan, Wind Creek, uh, Parks, Bethlehem. So that's the farthest I'll go. That's like a two-hour an hour, two hour drive. Yeah. But uh, on Tuesdays, the action's really good there. So I'll make a lot in of In Wind Creek? Uh, at Parks. Oh, uh, really? It's good oh, at Wind Creek, too, Parks but Parks, Parks Philly. Philly. Yeah, a lot of money there. Tuesday, I don't know. It attracts all the drug dealers. It's crazy. But they got good money. Really? <laughs> hey. Okay. Hey, why not? I'll take it from the drug dealers. It's why so not? You got to take it from somewhere. This is a W-2 job for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So I pay 25% a year in gambling tax. No wow. kidding. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't. Where am I going to hide the money? Yeah. No, I, I just, it's a job. It's I can a, siphon it through a, the business, but why would I risk it? You know? Yeah. You know so it, it really is. And it just sucks that they take so much money. 
you know. Um, I don't always win, but, you know, I win. I've never had a losing year. You never had a losing year. I never had a losing year, but still, I have to pay that you at the pay end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. So you, know? you pay it as you go? No, you pay it at the end of the year. Yeah, so I keep track. Like, there's apps for it. Like, I have the Poker Bankroll Tracker app, and that works wonders for me. Um, one, I just use it mainly to keep track of my, my stats, but at the end of the year, it's easy for taxes because I can just see what I won or lost. So you, can't, you just can't take that money and just blow it. you got to make sure you nope. manage it like yep. you manage a business. Holy yep. shit. So really, like, if I win, uh, you know, I do it weekly, just like a weekly paycheck, so I, tr- I treat it just like a job. So end of the week, I know I average around 20 to $50 an hour depending on what stake I'm playing. And then I take out 25%, put in a side account, and then I know. And at the end of the year, it always just adds up. Adds up. It yeah, matches up just right about away. there. It's off like maybe $100, $200 or so. Um, you have to hire a CPA and stuff to really get in the nitty-gritty to write off your expenses, your gas, your travel, the whole nine. But like I'm Holy driving five cow. minutes up the road. But it's a lot of work. I didn't know. Yeah, absolutely. I had no idea. If you're doing it the right way. I mean, you can, uh, you can get away with it for a little bit and not pay your taxes. But uh, where are you going to hide the cash? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Catch up wow. So it's not worth the not not worth the aggravation. You're never going to hide a tournament win or a jackpot win. Absolutely, because they they always there with the paperwork. You can't dodge it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But. Well, Ant, thank you for thank coming, you on. For coming Absolutely, on. Absolutely, man. Good Nino's story. Pizza again, and Toby Hanna, Absolutely. and our good, you know, and slash poker player. Yeah. Slash good meaning story. slash it goes hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. Slash Absolutely. not the pizza slasher, slayer, whatever. He's the, slayer. He's the poker slasher. He's the poker slayer. 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 The poker slayer. Oh my god. <laughs> That's right. Do you well, do, do you have I'm a so dance? Sorry for like, him. Do you no, have a I dance like your brother? <laughs> he goes, yeah, no, I do not. Oh, all right. That's unbelievable. But again, Anthony, thank you for coming on, and you know, you got it. Best Hell salesman in the too. world right there. Hardest working salesman. In the I got to give you the money when I'm right done. Yep. yep, absolutely. You paid me. <laughs> I got to say it. All right. Well, hey, episode 39, Pizza Fellows Podcast. We're going to wrap it up here at the Anna Capri Show. Enzo, is Peter there? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. He's taking orders, He's yeah. Uh. Hey, we had a great show here. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Anna Capri. <laughs> it's a Pizza Fellows Podcast. Turn your speakers up. We better have a blast. Grab a drink, fill a glass, light a cigar, come on, let's make it last. Pizza talk with Sal and Joe, Oliver, Antonio. Pizza stories, they gon' tell us. Let's have some fun with the pizza fellas.